Okay, so from there, it's a little skinnier, and then we can make on this side where it comes up, comes up just a little where the where the arm is. And so let's put the the cape outline or the glove. So the glove comes in kind of like so, just this little fin. And so this glove. Oh my gosh, I can't think, talk when I draw. The cape comes up and kind of arches like so. And like when I talk about seeing shapes, instead of drawing this as the cape, I'm actually thinking of this as a shape. And that's how I'm forming it. I'm looking at it as a shape. And that's that's really what the other lessons in the my videos deal with and stuff is looking at things as shapes. So this comes up. It's real skinny and comes down and just barely, it just barely, barely, barely touches this. Comes down arches like so. And this is how the cape, and if, oh, we're going to put value in it so it'll look better lightly. And then maybe just do a little outline for the chest. This comes up chest would be about like so. Oh man, he's looking buff now! He's been working out and stuff! Get excited! So this glove comes up. Like the other one. And this isn't as high. This one's a little lower. So what I said again, thinking of things in straight line, this is a little lower than that point. So you just make it there. Comes in. Comes down. Like so. Can I have where the the arm is starting to form. Before I get too much into the arms, uh, we'll work on the belt. I want to save the symbol for last because, oh my gosh, the symbol is so hard for me. I, I can't do symbols. So it's making me very anxious. So the belt is about a little pouch here. He's got, his, he's got sweet gadgets and stuff in it. Oh man, I'm so excited. He's got like those things that turn into smoke and all those cool stuff. And the pouch is like a little arch down, a little arch, and a little circle where the thing is. Then it's a little lower, little lower thing, and then so it follows this kind of simple line. There's another one. I'm drawing the belt kind of fast. This is a long video. I'm trying to figure out. I'm so happy about the camera. This is so cool. This rocks, man. I've been waiting for this forever, like to set up a camera, but I just, I didn't know how to do it, and I just didn't have the motivation or time. And so now I finally got a break. They got these four little pocket things. <laughs> So far, that's how he's looking so far. And I'm not going to do the legs because I don't have enough room in the paper. But then, real simple to do the bottom, the pelvis. The line, the line about the, a little longer than that line. Then it arches. And this is what's so amazing. Once you start learning just where the points are, you can draw anything. Then it kind of arches and it meets the inside of the leg. Is about lined up with, say, this. The second thing right here. So it ends about there little indent down and then comes out and it meets at a point that's just a little bit lower than right here so you just curve it and BAM! There it is! Then you can put the leg This is so exciting man! I'm so happy about this! This leg goes down This leg kind of comes in I'm not going to worry about the legs uh, just to save time, but you know, something like that. So 
So that's how he's looking so far. Let's do the this glove. Let's do the left glove first. The so left glove. It follows this arch, but it kind of arches down a little bit lower. Or a little bit more towards the left. And it arches like this. And it's about as long as about up to here on the leg. And this is what's amazing about, about just the art of drawing is uh, you constantly are making points. And like with these points you're making, it makes it easier to, to form the whole drawing because it, it really is like you're creating a map of points that you follow and that's how you get your finished product. If, I hope that makes sense because I cannot talk and draw. It's very uh, hard because the mind, the mind works where when you're drawing you can't really verbalize. It's, it's weird because when you're drawing you're just thinking in like the left side of the brain kind of like that book. Uh, so I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But you just want to do this. And then this comes down. That's like the left. This is arm. His hand. Oh yeah, baby. And then the other hand kind of arches. And the bottom of this hand meets about, see where this mark is? It's a little bit of an angle to that mark. So it meets about there. Curves in again. It kind of juts up. Oh, this Batman's looking tough. He's ready to beat some ass. He's gonna fight the Joker later. It kind of meets like this. It kind of arcs down. And this last one, this last little pointy thing, it curves in and it goes down past this line. I kind of made that a little too wide. And then it just comes out really nice, smooth line. That's what I love about Bruce Timm's style. It's just so simple, but so hard. And it's just these beautiful lines, these simple lines. So that's how he's looking so far, yeah, baby! That's the dreaded bat symbol. So for the bat symbol, same thing as before, finding the points. Uh, the main left point of the bat symbol starts about lined up with that please please don't make fun of me if I can't do it <laughs> I'm so scared I'm so scared about doing this and this line comes here and then this shape kind of arches down a little and the shape goes like that kind of curves up and it never really meets the point up to here so it's a little lower then it juts out and the bottom point follows this little line and the bottom point is about lined up with this right point so if you draw a straight line it's almost there Gosh, I love drawing. I forgot how awesome just just drawing is. How relaxing and just enjoyable. So it comes up like so. And just a leather little dash up. These two little curves. Oh man, I might actually make the bat symbol for once. This is my dream! I can't believe I'm living my dream finally! And this one comes up, and this point is higher than that point, and it ends at about the left side of the mouth. So make a little mark there, ends about right there, and it juts out to about the left side of the face. So if there's a straight line there, it comes out about to the left side, and it ends at about a little higher than that point. So there's, if that was a point, it ends about right there, I'd say. Then curve in, or to make it simpler, it ends at that point, almost lined up. Uh, curve in, curve down. Oh man, I'm so happy. There it is. There's almost.